Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech with Marco. I'm Marco and today we are going to talk about my favorite reverse proxy which is called Traffic. It's been a while since my last Traffic video and in that video I explained the whole setup of Traffic, how the reverse proxy works and all that kind of stuff. So make sure to check that out so that you know what Traffic is and how Traffic works. Because today we're talking about a little advanced setup of Traffic and in particular, we're talking about the DNS challenge. Basically, traffic is taking care of all the SSL things and SSL certificates, renewal and stuff like that. And there are three different ways of getting certificates from Let's Encrypt with traffic. And today we're talking about the DNS challenge because it brings some benefits and also some drawbacks. But in this video, I wanted to show how easy it is actually to implement the DNS challenge with traffic. So in order to understand what are some benefits of the DNS challenge, we first have to look at the other challenges we can use to get some certificates. So we will head over to the traffic documentation and then you can click on the left to the HTTP and TLS settings and go to Let's Encrypt. Then on the right, you have the different ACME challenges. So ACME stands for Automated Certificate Management Environment and First of all, we have the TLS challenge. How the TLS challenge works, um, basically traffic must be reachable by Let's Encrypt through port 443. And in the HTTP challenge, traffic has to be reachable by Let's Encrypt through port 80. So that means your reverse proxy has to be reachable from outside your network. So sometimes that's not the case, for example, in a home lab. And for that, you could use the DNS challenge because the DNS challenge works a little bit differently. With the DNS challenge, you as the owner of the domain prove to Let's Encrypt you are the owner of the domain by setting up a TXT record in the DNS settings of your domain. And by that, Let's Encrypt knows, ah, that domain belongs to Marco. I can grant you the permission to generate a certificate for that specific domain. And that is one of the major benefits the DNS challenge has. And there's another one, for example, you, with that you can also generate wildcard certificates. So that means that every other domain below the domain you have a wildcard certificate for does not need a new certificate by Let's Encrypt to be secure. This could be considered as a benefit or also as a drawback because when you have a wildcard certificate, then nobody's able to scan through your certificates and see what services on which domain are available. For example, grafana.domain.com. And if there is a certificate for that available, you're most likely to have a Grafana running on that domain. So that, for example, is a benefit for the wildcard certificate. A drawback, for example, could also be if your certificate gets hijacked or stolen somehow, then the person who has the certificate can basically spin up new domains and pretend to be you and own the domain. And yeah, that's one pro and one con for the wildcard certificate. But the DNS challenge also has some drawbacks. So for example, it takes a little bit for your DNS provider to publish your TXT record to prove that you're the owner of the domain. And that results in a delay of whatever, one, two, three minutes, depending on your DNS provider. And another drawback, for example, is that the API keys, which you are storing on your traffic machine to automatically set the TXT records, they are on the machine and those could be leaked somehow. So there's that drawback. But apart from that, I would say, let's go into configuring our service and I'll show you how that works. So let's jump into my editor in my Docker Compose file here. So I'm using traffic with Docker and Docker Compose. And if you don't know how the setup works, I definitely recommend watching my other video about setting up traffic itself. So I'm not going through every setting here, but in order to configure the DNS challenge, we have to set some settings here under the command section. These commands, they can also be stored in the dynamic configuration of traffic or in the static file configuration of traffic. But for the ease of demonstration here, I go with the command configuration here. So first of all, we have to set up a new certificate resolver and I named that one Let's Encrypt. You can exchange Let's Encrypt here for whatever your certificate resolver name should be. And then you have to set the ACME DNS challenge to true and you also have to set a provider. And in my case, I use Cloudflare because I'm hosting my domains with Cloudflare. But Traffic has also a list of supported providers in their documentation. So make sure to check them out if you want to configure it differently than Cloudflare. So the other settings below here, there are standard settings for the ACME challenge you have to set anyway, whatever challenge you're using. And in the next section, we are setting up an incoming entry point for port 80, so for HTTP, and another one below that with HTTPS traffic, so port 443. And I also set up a redirection so that every traffic coming into HTTP is automatically redirected to the web secure endpoint. And in the next section, we are declaring that we want to use wildcard certificates for my domain here. 
So I say the entry point web secure, I want to have TLS enabled. So I set that to true. And for that web secure endpoint, I want to use my certificate resolver Let's Encrypt, which is set in line 22 and 23 to Cloudflare. And line 36 and 37, they are now interesting for the wildcard support. So I want my web secure endpoint to listen to the TLS domain dev.techwithmarco.com and I want to set some alternative names for that domain. So SANS stands for Subject Alternative Names. And after the equal sign, you could list up different subdomains for dev.techwithmarco.com. So for example, service.dev.techwithmarco.com. But you can set a wildcard here. And that means that traffic is requesting a wildcard certificate for the dev.techwithmarco domain with Let's Encrypt. And after traffic got the wildcard certificate issued, it will always be using the wildcard certificate for any domain which is placed under dev.techwithmarco.com. But let's come to the next section. So we will declare some secrets because we need secrets in our traffic container so that traffic is able to communicate with in my case Cloudflare, to set up the TXT records to prove that we are the owner of the domain. So we need a Cloudflare token and a Cloudflare email. And in my case, I use Docker secrets for that. You could also just place them in the environments of the Docker container, but I wanted to have them as Docker secrets because the difference is that if you place the Cloudflare API token in the environment of the traffic container, it will always be available in the traffic container for everyone. And if you use Docker secrets for that, that is exactly not the case. So that is a way of Docker to handle secrets. And for that, I'll scroll to the top again and we have to declare some secrets. And my secret Cloudflare minus token will be placed in the folder secrets and the file will be named Cloudflare minus token dot secret. And in that file, you just place the plain string of your API token and the same for the email address. So let me quickly show you that I have a folder here which is called secrets and in that folder I have two files, the Cloudflare email and in that you place your Cloudflare email and the other the token, you just place the plain token in here. And in order for traffic to read these secrets, we have to declare the secrets for the container and then in the next section we have to place them in the environment. But we don't place the secrets in the environment here, we place the path where the secret file is located into the environment. If you don't want to do that and stick with the environments, just delete the secret section here and have a look at the end here. So we have an underscore file ending. You have to delete that and then you can just write your plain token here. And easier is that we have traffic properly configured, but there are two things missing now. So in order to use the wildcard certificates quite easily, we have to set up a wildcard DNS entry for the IP of my server. And we have to create the API token. I quickly show you how that looks in Cloudflare. So let's switch over to Cloudflare. And first of all, we are in my tag with Marco domain in the DNS section in the records. And we have to place a wildcard A record for the .dev domain. So it's asterisk.dev for my domain and the content will be the IP of my server and set that to DNS only. And what that does, every request which is pointing to something subdomain.dev.techwithmarco.com is pointing to my server where my traffic is running and then traffic just handles automatically where that request is routed to. And the next thing is to set up your API key for Cloudflare. So head over to the user API section. You do that by clicking on the top right to your user account and then head over to the API tokens section. And then you can create a new token and then you will get this UI. So I gave that token a name, traffic DNS challenge. And the two permissions you have to set is the zone permission to read and the, and the zone DNS permission to edit. And you can include specific zones, for example, or all zones from your account or all zones your account is able to access. But I specified the zone to just match to my domain. You could also add, for example, the client IP, which is allowed to use that token. So you could, for example, place your server IP in here to have more security when using the API token. And after you've done that, copy the token and place it into your secrets file. So let's head over to your server where your traffic instance will be placed. I already have my Docker Compose file placed here with all the configurations and I have my secrets file placed on the server so the Docker Compose file is able to read them. Let's quickly spin up our Docker Compose file here 
And as you can see, I have some other containers placed in there. So the paste bin containers, for example. And as you can see, I have a service which is called paste bin. This is just for demonstration purposes. So we have different labels. We have to set traffic enable for true for that container to work. And we will set the host rule for a subdomain of the dev.techwithmarco.com. And the same is happening with the paste2 container and the same with paste3 containers. So they just have different domains, but in the end they will all be using the wildcat certificate for the dev.techwithmarco domain. So let's go back to our server and see that we have four containers now running. So three paste paste containers, they are like paste bin, for example, I think you might know that. And we have our traffic container. So let's check the logs of the traffic container. And if we scroll up a little bit, we can see that our traffic container is setting up the Cloudflare records, the TXT records in Cloudflare. And after a while, we get the successful message that the server validated our requests. So we have now a valid Let's Encrypt wildcard certificate for the domain dev.techwithmarco.com. And let's head over to our first service and check the wildcard certificate. So let's check the first service, which is located at paste.dev.techwithmarco.com. And let's check the certificate. So first of all, you see that it's a still insecure certificate because it is issued by the Let's Encrypt staging environment for testing purposes. So later I will just switch over to the real Let's Encrypt environment, then this certificate will be valid. But we can see that this certificate which the site is using is for dev.techwithmarco.com and we are at the subdomain paste.dev.techwithmarco.com and we can also switch that to the paste2.techwithmarco.com there we get the error that the certificate authority is invalid because as i said of the staging environment but this domain is also using the dev.techwithmarco wildcard certificate and the same of course is available at the third Docker service here. So let's quickly have a look at the certificate of our wildcard certificate with the acme.json and there we have our key for the domain dev.techwithmarco.com and it is valid for every subdomain under the dev.techwithmarco.com domain. So easy as that, we have our wildcard certificate for that domain. Sometimes there might be some timing issues. Uh, so there are two options which you could add to your Docker Compose file. I show them here now because I added them later in the video because that mistake happened to me and I was a little bit confused. So it took me a while to figure that out, but I just show them here now. So to quickly summarize what you've learned, you can now issue wildcard certificates with a DNS challenge with a provider, in my case Cloudflare. You can adapt it to your provider of your choice. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So leave a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you're already using the DNS challenge with your traffic setup and make sure to check out my other traffic videos. I link them somewhere around here and yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.